Hello, I'm Wendy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another makeup and chit chat video and I, I'm rocking my Minnie Mouse look here, which is, you know, just totally for fun. So today uh, I'm doing some fun things and also introducing some new things that I don't think I've shown before. So let's get started. What I wanna do first is introduce you to this new foundation that I've been using. It's L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic, Hyaluronic Tinted Serum, 1% Pure Hyaluronic Acid. And that's what it looks like. And it comes in a, a, a dropper bottle. Now, one thing that I learned about this is that it, it's a good idea to use a moisturizer underneath it. But instead of doing that today, which I have done most of the time, um, and apparently the reason is because the hyaluronic acid uh, absorbs moisture. So if your skin is dry, it'll just maybe suck more out. If you live in a wet climate, it'll bring it in apparently. Like, don't quote me on this. I just heard someone else explain it that way on another YouTube channel, so that's okay. But today I'm gonna to use the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is even hard to say, and use it instead of a moisturizer because I find it quite moisturizing and also um, it has the added benefit of preventing um, oily breakthrough. However, I have to say with, I found with this new, um, foundation I don't get it anyway because like if my face is producing oil it seems that the hyaluronic acid just soaks it right up so if you have skin like mine which is kind of combination dry in some spots and and oily in t-zone and that sort of thing you might really like this and I'm also using this on my eyelids um, just so that I can use it without doing a, a separate shadow primer. So this comes like this, and I'm just gonna tip up my mirror a little bit. And what I do is just dribble some on. Now I found that it, the glass rod gets it a lot of it um, when you pull it in. Now you kind of have to be careful, otherwise it sort of goes everywhere around the bottle but um, you can also just wipe it off like that. What I love about this makeup is it's very sheer. And so it, it almost, it looks like you have no makeup on. It doesn't cover solidly. Like I'm not big on, on really heavy cover because to me it just looks like I'm, you know, a walking face of makeup rather than having um, just a really nice complexion. And you saw my face a minute ago. It is not exceptionally smooth. The coloring is kind of all over the place. And so um, having a nice foundation that just kind of smooths everything out, which I'll, without um, completely covering it up, I like that. Now the color I'm using is very light. Uh, I considered using one shade darker, but every time I have, um, I've ended up going, you know, I, th I just look fake. So because I add other things like, um, like bronzer or, or blush, I always use blush and sometimes contour, it gives more dimension and it's not just like solid light. So you can tell by looking at this already, it's just, it's pretty nice. I bought this new concealer and I, frankly, I think it's too light. It's Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish. And it's a nice fat bottle. And you know, I bought it at my grocery store where there's not a single mirror in sight. I, ha I actually have a mirrored um, cell phone cover, which I bought not so that I always had a mirror, which turned out to be very handy, but because um, well, the place I bought it, it was the only one that fit my phone. So uh, it's, I'm not vain, I'm just practical. And I'm gonna try this again. And, oh, I forgot to tell you what the color is, but it's pretty light. And it was the, like the third lightest. It's called Fair Beige. So I thought, okay, I actually held it up 
to the back of my phone in the store and figured I was pretty close. Now I woke up this morning with a blemish. Don't ask me why. I just felt something and scratched and it did its thing. Uh, I'm just going to put this, spread this around with this brush, which I use exclusively for this purpose. It's not bad. I think it might be a little bit light, but I don't know. It's probably okay. After I'm finished all this, I'm going to put on a wig, which I think you'll find really fun. So wait for that. The next thing I want to do is my brows. And for that, I'm using the Essence Eyebrow Designer in, in 02 Brown, which is just a little pencil with a little brush on the end. I never really used these little brushes until one day I thought, eh, what's this for anyway? You know, so I mean to brush your hairs up and whatever, but what it really does is blend the color. So this color is a little bit darker than what I normally use, even though my eyebrows are very dark, like the hairs are very dark, because my original color, as you can see, like in here, was a very dark brown. I was never black, even though some people seem to think I was, but it was just a really rich dark brown. And all I'm doing is just using little, little flicks. So this little brush just does a really nice job of blending that pencil line. What do you think? Okay, um, next step is blush. And today I'm using, I love this blush. This is Clinique's Chubby Stick Cheek Color Balm in Roly Poly Rosy, which is such a, well, it's fun and it's got a fun name and it's um it's a big crayon like this it actually twists up like a lipstick one day I dropped it and it went squish that's probably why it's a little bit crooked on top because of course you drop it and it lands on its head what I found is I don't know if anybody else has this but I have two places on my cheeks here that don't want to take blush I don't know it doesn't seem to matter what I put on it it doesn't want to stay. It just like goes, goes over that part. So for this, I'm going to use um, a little sponge to kind of spread it around. I've tried using a brush, which works as well. One of those short bristle brushes like I used for my, my foundation. With this, I think it actually picks up too much. I, I have used more of this at a time and then gone, uh oh, I've got too much. A little bit tricky to get perfect and then of course as I said before as soon as I press on my skin it gets red and then it goes away and then um, I don't really know how much I have on so let's I'm gonna use the brush this time it's just this little one here and I'm taking it up here into my temple because that kind of lifts your face kind of brightens everything up so that's one side and don't be alarmed if it looks like way too much because it will probably fade out again in a minute. Again, just taking it up here, also out here to my ear so that it doesn't stop, it doesn't come to a sudden stop, make you wonder what happened there. Let's see. That's pretty good. Anyway, this is lovely bl blush. Um, and I also got a contour that I've, I think I showed in my last makeup video. And this one is um, She Glam by Shein in soft tan. And I don't, I don't, I've tried doing contouring in here, but my face has, is a little bit thin in there anyway. I don't think I really need it. However, I do have no jawline at all. It's disappeared. Whatever I had, which wasn't much, um, has kind of disappeared. So I found that this makes for a nice jawline. And if I carry it up over this little droopy bit here called a jowl, then it actually does a nice job.
taking it right up to my ear and then down my neck a little bit under my chin blend 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 last thing you want is a dark line around your face that looks like you have a dirty neck you want it to just be the faintest shadow and then like I said I take it down here as well because I was blessed with a family trait shall we say now if I look at that and go mm, it looks a bit muddy all I have to do is just go like this fingers make good blenders I'm going to do my eyeshadow now that one is essence ice ice baby eyeshadow palette because I'm wearing navy today I thought I'd go with blue it's an interesting combination because lots of silver in there and and even the the highlight color is is a little bit kind of green gray I don't know it's kind of an odd one but I'm going to start with this color I don't have new brushes but if you haven't uh, seen my channel before this is uh, my eyeshadow brush by still oh you know what I on TikTok the other day I saw I'm gonna try something different I saw this technique for hooded eyes and mine mine are not only hooded which is like drooping but they go down at the corner and um, I have this picture of my great-grandparents and my great-grandmother who is a beautiful woman more beautiful than I uh, had the same trait and my youngest daughter looks exactly the same this one is a no-name brush I bought at Walmart and it's a wedge but it's quite a fluffy wedge. So this technique uh, goes like this. Take the, the brush, start it along here, and go up at the same angle. Don't make any judgments just yet because, and now of course the other thing you have to deal with is if you have really mobile skin. That's what it looks like at this point, okay? And now I'm going to take my, my usual eyeshadow brush, which is the still one. And you're supposed to go put a dot directly above your eye, your iris in the middle, like that. And then connect the two. Because my bone structure goes down here I always have to kind of get over that hump and I'm also going to fill in in this area because if I don't it kind of looks strange okay I haven't tried this before bear with me give it a try yourself and let me know what you think if it works for you or no Again, I always feel like I have to take it up way higher than it should be. All right, here's what we've got. Hmm, makes for a lot of blue. However, um, I'm persevering and I'm going to use a different color, which is this silvery one. This one goes all along here and I'm going to take it up just a little bit so that it gives me a little bit of a cut crease and if you don't know what that is it's um, basically creating a fake crease by putting shadow up over the, the hooded part of your eye all right I think it works. I'm going to also take some more of this blue and put it all the way under so that it acts like my my eyeliner. And now I'm going to take this darker blue and put a little bit in the corners here. Because sometimes my eyeshadow doesn't get right down to my lash line. It's very blue. 
I did ask for blue, didn't I? So here's what you do if you have too much blue. If you want to tone down a blue, put brown over it. There's a little color theory for you. In case you, in case I, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm an artist in my other life, so I work with color all the time. All right, jury's still out here. Oh, you know what? When I look at it from a distance, I actually quite like it. I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, darker blue just under the outer corner too, like that, just almost into my eyelashes. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay. Um, now, the other thing I want to do is um, I'm going to use this lighter color here and just do some highlighting here. Like I said before, interesting color for highlight. And I'm filling in some of this space here as well. But you know, it works. So I'm not gonna knock it. Let's see. Wow, it really lifts. This line that goes up here really lifts up my eyes and my whole face. Wow. I'm really impressed by that. And when I saw it on TikTok, I thought, well, that's a different one. However, don't knock until you've tried it. All right, um, for lips today, I am going to just dab my lips a little bit. I have a, a pencil here that I got in one of those um, Christmas collections with, you know, 400 things. And sometimes some of them are great. So I'm going to use this one. It's the color is, oh, wait a minute. I'm not there yet. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to put my mascara on because my eyes aren't finished. All this chit chat got me so confused. For um, an eyelash curler, what you want to look for is the amount of curve and the width of it. If you have wide, flat eyes, a wide, flat eyelash curler is going to work for you. I don't have that kind of eyes so I had to really look because I tried several and it's like I think it's like my eyes are this shape and the eyelash curler is this shape so it never gets into the corners but I found this one a few years ago at Target of all places for like $5.99 or something and it's great because it has the appropriate amount of curve and when I curl my eyelashes then I can Put it as close to my eyelids as possible and then I just squeeze and move and squeeze and move and then to make sure it's nice and a nice curve rather than a bunch of bends I just pull it through like that and like I've said before it's like uh, like curling ribbon where you just pull it past the scissors I also have a new mascara to try and that is um, Sky High by Maybelline and I love Maybelline's mascaras so this is Sky High in black black or whatever I always use black now refer to my eyebrow color now this one has this kind of brush it's one of those little plastic ones which I really like because it does get in close um, I have to say I'm not in love with this one you have to use lots of it because what it does is it really separates your lashes. So if you've got really thick lashes, it'll do a great job of separating them and making them look longer. Unfortunately, I have neither long nor thick lashes. So I'm going to put it on anyway. For me, it's not a winner. It's actually um, a lot like Telescopic from L'Oreal and I like Telescopic better. However, the one I really like is Falsies by Maybelline. There we go. Also in black. And the reason I like it is because the brush actually gets into all my corners because of the curve of my eyelids. A lot of them don't get it, these little tiny ones in the outside corner, nor the little almost non-existent ones on the inside corner. Plus, it's a thickening lash um, mascara, so it actually makes it look like I have eyelashes. 
Wow, I feel dazzling. All right, let's go back to mm, the lips. All I have to do now is locate my pencil again. There we go. I feel like a secretary bird with my hair and my glasses. All right, I'm not going to color my whole lips in. Um, the lipstick I'm using is Lise Watier uh, in the color, I don't know, Berry something. It's so tiny and it's black on a dark background. It's called Berry Smoothie. And it looks very dark, but it's fairly sheer. Now, there's a bit of a story behind this. Um, number one, it has the coolest case. So it pops in like this. Isn't that pretty? And then you just press it and it pops out. And then you pull it out and it's like a crayon that you twist up. I got this from my daughter. She had this lipstick that was sheer and dark colored like this and loved it. And of course they discontinued it so she couldn't get it anymore. And she's been looking, she's been on a hunt ever since. And she's very methodical because she's kind of sciencey. And she, uh, so she's got her, all her trials, she showed me the other day on a, in a little drawer. She's got all her trials lined up and a little mark on the paper of what they look like and um, lined up in favorites. And so she said, you know, none of them are the perfect one for me. So try them and see what you like. So I tried them and some of them are like, Ugh, I look like a dead woman. Um, but this one actually looked quite nice. And so I thought, well, okay, it's it's sheer, but it's not like dried blood or anything. And it feels good. It's very soft. So here's my final look. Well, not quite final. Hang on. Don't don't leave yet. All right. I have to put my glasses on to see what it really looks like. Okay. Um, I think with the dark lips and the dark eyes, one of them is too much. Probably, mm, I don't know. I think I would go with a lighter lip when I've got the darker eyes or the other way around. Otherwise, you just look too made up, um, especially when you're in my age category, which is over 60 at the moment. I'm not getting any younger. I'm feeling young, but apparently that's irrelevant. Okay. Oh, I look so glamorous. My goodness. Love it. Okay, and here's my wig. I bought it from Amazon for I think 30 bucks. I thought I saw somebody on a different channel um, reviewing it. And I thought that was just too fun. This is what it looks like. I still have the tag on it. I've only tried it on once. So this is going to be. Um, an experience again. I'm just going to take this tag out of here. The color number is R12-26. Um, I forget what it's called. I don't think it has a real name. It's just a description. And the interior is just like regular lace on the top. Um, it doesn't have an extended, oh it has a little bit of an extended neck. Uh, it has these like bra strap closures for adjusting the size and I'm going to put it to the to the, the largest and it's it's really stretchy the ear tabs are not they they don't have the little um, bendy pieces in them what i would do with this make sure that wig grip is tucked in there because of the color of my hair I would probably spray it with some blonde. L'Oreal Concealer Spray in Light Blonde for blondes with dark roots, which I thought was sensible. Just blondify that a little bit because it's it looks almost blue. That helps. I like breathing stuff. Okay, here's this wild movie style move back a little bit so you can see. Um, I think it's so fun. 
I do think it's a little bit too gold for me. And um, I'm probably going to color it a little bit just to take out of that, take out some of that gold. But there's the back. You can do all kinds of stuff with this. I think it's a blast. I actually like it puffed up a little bit. Um, you can part it. You can. It's really versatile. Bring this forward. And then I'll put my glasses on because that's a necessity. Necessity of life. So there, I just transformed my whole looks. And um, how fun is that? Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, click the little bell to get the notifications when I've got new videos, which come out every week. Also, um, I'd love it if you'd leave a comment. And just tell me, like, do you, do you like this um, foundation, the lipstick, the whole look, the hair? Do you have any suggestions? Whatever. Tap that like button because that really does help me. And I'll see you next time.